I can see there's a bit of a um, chat going on about books, what you need when you go to Europe. So this is most of our collection um, of books that we've used for Europe. So we've done France, uh, Germany, Austria. Um, we've done the Dolomites, Italy, Northern Italy, that is the lakes, uh, back under France again, and we've done Portugal and we've done Spain. So this is our books that we've used. Um, some of you will recognise some of them. Um, unfortunately, I don't get paid for doing this. I'm just advertising them for nothing for them. Although uh, I have tried to apply for a job for all the airs, reviewing the airs, but um, they don't seem to want me. So I'll stick to doing these videos. Right, a lot of them are maps. Um, this one, don't get it. Michelin, Spain and Portugal, waste of time. Throw that one away. Um, the, the actual size of it's rubbish. Um, camping card, ASCII books, very good for off-peak sites. Um, and it also gives you the price for, um, if you remember, will give you a dog two people and an electric hookup for the price it says on the page so hundreds and hundreds of campsites and you just look for example 17 euros the periods that the uh, offers between bit of a map where it is just give them a call email and just go um, there's two books for that um, all the airs books right these are the ones who wouldn't give me a job so they're very good books. They are out of date um, to a certain extent. Um, I have updated a lot of them, but I don't know whether they'll have done the updates uh, this year. So these are the biggies, North and South France. Very clear, very good. So you'll get a picture of the place, uh, sometimes a map. Um, directions, how many parking spaces, what the facilities are. And the GPS coordinates. Uh, ones for north, ones for south. They are good, very clear. They also do Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands. There we go, similar. The smaller books, and they fill them out um, by doing big pictures. They're not as comprehensive as the others, um, by no means as comprehensive. Um, but it does a good job. And Spain and Portugal. So, again... They pad it out, big pictures, take a quarter of a page, and the small books. But they're good. Y you could do with them, really. Um, in an emergency, they help you out. There's just a master uh, map on the page. And there's also a separate map they give you that opens out bigger, so you can find more. So that's, our, uh, that's the ones we had. Um, if you're looking for a minimum, I'd probably say get rid of all these. All them, all them, and all them. Camper Stop Europe. If I was going to pick one and one only, Camper Stop Europe is the one I'd go for. It's got absolutely everything in it, except for the ones that all the airs have swept up. Um, the duplicate in some places, but smaller adverts, same sort of thing. But um, if you are only having one, get that one. If you're a bit more detail, get that one and also get the area you want. So also get the either France one or Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands or Spain and Portugal. But um, yeah, enjoy. Sorry it's a bit long-winded. I haven't got all my books here, but I didn't want to bore you too much if you're not bored already. Um, I'll put this on my YouTube. If you'd uh, just tick the thumbs up if you liked it and... Uh, just follow me if you would, um, I'll put lots more motorhome related videos on. Thank you.